Hello, I'm Doug Eberhardt. I'm with United Way of the Ohio Valley, and I'm here to say two important words to you, and that's thank you for your kindness and generosity. It's because of what you do and the decisions that you make to support United Way and the more than 55 programs that really allows us to have such a vibrant and growing community. United Way is unique. We're an organization that focuses on the community as a whole. We don't focus on one type of service or one age group. We really do look at data, statistics, and program outcomes to really make a difference and choose how to invest the money back to the community to make sure that it's a great place for all of us to raise our children, to live and work and just enjoy life. Part of those statistics and data include items such as one in five children are food insecure right here in our community. We know that one in three women and one in four men will be sexually assaulted and raped or stalked or physically abused by an intimate partner sometime in their life. We know that 15% of the people that live in our community are living in poverty every single day. That's the reason why we're here at the HL Neblet Center to really talk about what happens here, what happens as part of the program. So United Way focuses on the building blocks of what's happening in our community. Building blocks such as education, health, and financial stability. These three building blocks create the foundation for an individual or family to begin to grow and to be successful in their life. Here we see 275 children are being helped. We see that they are getting school and taking care of child care. We know that they're part of the educational program in today's environment with COVID-19. These children all come from low-income families. 95% of them are recognized as being in poverty. What does poverty really mean? That means that a family of four cannot make more than $26,700. Imagine a working mother and a working father, 40 hours a week making minimum wage. That's only $29,000 a year. This program costs around $3,200, $3,300 a year for a child to participate in. It's because of individuals' kindness and generosity like you that make this possible. These statistics are all about proving and showing that your investment makes a difference in a child's life. We know that by turning and helping children, helping seniors, helping families, we give them the foundation, just like this rock wall. They start off at the very beginning with education, getting a good job, making sure they're healthy and stay connected. As, as they grow, they're reaching higher and higher peaks. That's what you do. You allow people the opportunity to get to the peak of their choosing and a level of success. And on behalf of the thousands of people that we serve, on behalf of the thousands of people that you may never meet, thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your giving heart. And we'd ask that you consider giving a gift this year if you've never given before. And if you've given a gift before, please consider renewing your gift once again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. My name is Burley and I'm with Mentor Kids Kentucky and I've been the executive director here for over five years and first and foremost uh, our vital work in the community is matching kids with adults just to come alongside consistently in their lives um, just to be a sounding board and just a friend through the the COVID-19 grant that United Way was vital in um, leading the charge to get we were able to touch so many more lives because of that. When Mentor Kids evolved its program and we started delivering the school meals to the kids in our program, 
The impact was great across so many different households. There was a grandmother raising her grandson who had just had back surgery and couldn't drive. That uh, delivery formed into a friendship and then it formed into a very trusted friendship. And she relied on us. She knew that when she was in a bind because she had no one at all in her life, she knew that she could count on mentor kids to help her in any way that we can. There's another instance where the, the mother was at home at the beginning, but then she was deemed essential and had to go back to work. And it left her 16 year old girl, her daughter that was in middle school and her son fearful because their adult uh, caregiver was not in the home with them. But through the meal deliveries, they knew that every Monday, Wednesday and Friday that they would see Mentor Kids Kentucky. And from a socially distant space, we could talk about the fears. We could talk about um, the anxiety that they were having. And we wouldn't leave until everybody was feeling back to normal. So a couple years ago, there was a little boy who had lost his father and it was tragic. The, the mother reached out to us and we were able to match him with a male mentor. And at first the little boy didn't talk and uh, was just going through so much pain. And we worked with the mentor and just uh, the main thing we said was just keep showing up and just keep listening. And that relationship evolved into just a, a trusted source for this child. And so um, outside of his mentor showing him how to shave, teaching him how to um, change oil, just stuff that you know you would want your dad uh, to show you. When COVID hit, this, this little boy had now grown into a young man who was the man of the household. And he, even though it was not his job to, to take on uh, the burden that his mother was feeling and his sisters, he couldn't help it. But through that relationship that he had with his mentor, he had someone to talk to, man to man. That's, that's it'd be time for a man-to-man -man talk. And that boy, what he learned that it's okay to still be a boy and that the burden is not his to carry, that the, that the mentor is there to help him carry it and that he was gonna help make sure that mom was okay. And he was gonna help make sure that nothing happened to their home. And it was through that, through that chance encounter of them even meeting that this relationship formed. And now, they are talking about college visits in a couple of years. And it's all about hope for the future, even in the midst of this pandemic that has taken so much from so many, they're focusing on the hope that he does have. And all of that is because of United Way, because if they did not come alongside and partner with us, we couldn't do the work that we do. We couldn't reach little boys just like that and little girls. So thank you, thank you so much for believing in an organization that does exactly what they promised to do.